my first day of grad school. And yes, I have sweatpants on the bottom. I learned this the hard way. I. Hey y'all, my name is Megan. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and welcome to my apartment. My first day of grad school is about to begin and this vlog is gonna be an ad vlog and I made that word up. This is what it is right here. Yes, so I'm gonna be giving you tips and tricks on how to survive grad school and to do it successfully. Hang on, let me sit you down. So if you didn't know, I already have one master's degree and I'm working on my second. So I know what grad school is like, I know what to expect, and I'm gonna let you guys in on my secrets. Okay, so my first piece of advice is to get ready even if you're doing online classes, it's a good idea to get ready. You see I did my hair. I put on a little bit of makeup, not a lot, because I'm just staying home today because it's an all day online class. And then I put on a nicer t-shirt. Yes, it needs to be iron. And yes, I have sweatpants on the bottom, but nobody's gonna see my bottom, so I'd rather be comfy sitting in my chair. However, a lot of grad schools do have a dress code, especially my school. Um, and healthcare professional schools do, but since it's all online today, I'm just wearing this. It's a good idea, even if you are staying at home, to get ready, that way you feel more productive. So, it is almost nine o'clock now, and my first class is about to begin. Let's go to class. Okay guys, so it is 12 o'clock now. I have a lunch break and I just finished my classes, like morning classes. But my second tip is to always have something to write stuff down on. And I have three things here. I know that might be much, but that's how I work. I have always have a planner so I can write down the days and my schedule and stuff. And then I have this notebook right here. That way I can write down other important information that I don't want to get lost in my notes. I also have my iPad, which if you um, saw during the lecture, I like to download the PowerPoints onto my iPad and write on them with my uh, Logitech pencil just to kind of save paper and I think it's a little bit more fun than just writing down in a notebook and you get the same experience as like handwriting notes which is the way I remember things best. Anyways, it's lunchtime, I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat some lunch. Okay, so my next tip is to make sure you take your lunch break. And that does not mean studying during your lunch break or doing classwork during your lunch break. You want to take a mental break for your mind to rest and recover. So, take your breaks and eat your lunch. Okay y'all, so I am getting ready to start my afternoon classes. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my next tip. And that is to get blue light glasses like these. These are prescription, but they have cheap ones on Amazon for like 20 bucks, I would say. And this just blocks out the light on your computers. Like if you're staring at your computer for a long time, it keeps your eyes from getting really fatigued and 
if you have migraines like me, it really helps with migraines. So my next class is surgical pharmacology. And today she said we're just going over like the syllabus and stuff. But the thing with grad school is usually, as you saw in my earlier, earlier in this video, they usually go over the syllabus and then they get straight to work. Like in undergrad, we would just do the syllabus one day and then we would wait until the next class to start the content. And that's not the case in graduate school at all. They like to jump in right away, so be prepared. And that leads me into my next tip, which is to front load. You might know what this is, you might not. This is where, hang on. So when you front load, I have a video clip of this that I can add in right here. Today is gonna to be the very first grad school vlog that you guys are seeing. Today is August 20th and it's a Saturday, but they just put our courses on Blackboard and the first day of class is Monday. So I really want to prepare. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you didn't know, I am getting my master's in surgical assisting, which is basically a surgical PA which means after I graduate, I will be assisting a doctor or physician doing surgeries, which is pretty cool because I'll be getting to suture people and actually perform surgeries alongside the doctor. Yes, super excited. So our school uses Blackboard, which is a website that has all the courses on it and Right now there's only three of the courses that I just told you about are up on Blackboard, but one of them actually has a lecture up already. So I've already been through all the syllabus, which I recommend that y'all do to begin with. That way you can see all the due dates and what's expected of you during the courses. But right now I've already done all that and I am gonna go through the very first lecture. I've already done it one time, but I just listened to it. I wanna go back and take notes. But essentially all you are doing is previewing the lecture before class, circling or underlining or putting question marks beside the stuff you don't know. So in class, you can like pay extra attention during those sections and or ask questions about that with the instructor. So once you front load, you're seeing the lecture material one time. When you see it in class, you're seeing it for a second time. And then when after class, when you go home and study, that's the third time you're looking at the material and it's more likely to stick in your brain which I highly recommend doing. I learned this the hard way. I refused to do this at the beginning of my last graduate school semester and I suffered for it. So take it from me, front load your stuff, even though it's annoying, it's a pain in the butt. See the same thing over and over again, but it really does help because the tests are a lot harder. Trust me. You get a a lot more material at one time so you're tested on a, a lot more material also comment down below if you'd like to see a graduate school study tips video because i'd be happy to do one i have a study routine and i can share it with you guys so let's finish class for today Okay y'all, so I just finished my first day of grad school. So I am just going to go back over my PowerPoints and do some homework that I have to get done because we have group projects coming up really soon and I need to get started on them. This is gonna be my last tip. 
don't procrastinate. I have made this mistake during grad school and it was not good for me. So make sure you don't procrastinate. Make a schedule for yourself. Um, that's why you have a planner. And I recommend getting um, color-coded pens or pencils or something where you can write everything down in a different color so you know what class it's for and when everything is due and you don't miss something and always check it off after you do it. It, feel, it gives you a feeling of accomplishment and you know you've done it or you haven't done it. So this is going to be the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this style of vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel and make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to see more videos like this and vlogs and YouTube advice videos, also follow me on Instagram right here. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.